his final trip around this point six two five mile racetrack. There is Dale Earnhardt in second but well off the pace some eight seconds behind Labonte. And we have a crash over in turn number two not a crash actually but a spin involving Alan Kowicki but it does bring out the caution flag and Labonte will be coming down to receive the caution flag and also the white flag at the same time so this race is going to end under caution and Terry Labonte has it. Well coming back from adversity you talk about he started out in the wall in turn four on the first caution flag of the day a cut right front tire and now he'll take that same Budweiser Chevrolet and an impressive effort by Tim Brewer Junior Johnson and the crew to victory lane his first win in 50 starts for Terry Labonte win number seven he will come down Bob and get the checkers and here it is Labonte receives the checkered flag and Terry Labonte wins his first Winston Cup race of 1987. He gives Junior Johnson another victory here at North Wilkesboro. His win comes in his 270th Winston Cup race. Terry Labonte from Corpus Christi Texas. And that makes Junior Johnson the all time winningest car owner here at North Wilkesboro Speedway. He had been tied with Penny Woo! Engineering with 15 wins apiece. Now Johnson will have win number 16 and Labonte its career win number seven. Junior certainly wow. has something to smile about. We heard Gary Lee early in the race talk about how uh, calm and serene that True uh, broke. Junior Johnson is most of the time. Perhaps we can get a Boy, it's amazing that Earnhardt, if he had the tire problem, can stay out there that long. I, I, it's got to be a left side tire with a very slow lead. And the white flag comes out for Terry Labonte. Terry Labonte, originally from Corpus Christi, Texas, now from Archdale, North Carolina, is on the last lap of this first Union 400. Down the backstretch, Labonte in the Budweiser Chevrolet, prepared by Junior Johnson, whose place is just down the road. Labonte off of corner number four. The checkered flag drops, and Terry Labonte wins his eighth Winston Cup race of his career. Second place is going to go to Ricky Rudd. There's Earnhardt third and Rusty Wallace fourth. And Earnhardt just beat Wallace to the checkered flag for the third place finish. You've got less than two laps now. Actually less than a lap and a half to hold your breath because here comes Terry Labonte in the Kellogg's Corn Flake Chevrolet on the fourth corner. And getting the white flag. There is one more lap to go for Terry Labonte from Corpus Christi, Texas, the 1984 NASCAR Winston Cup champion who is about to record a victory here this afternoon. Here he is, through turns three and four, and Labonte wins the first Union 400. His fourth career short track wins in 137 starts, and of course, it's his first victory for 94. Jerry? And you can hear them celebrating down here in the Kellogg's pits. They, uh, there's a smiling rooster down here. There this isn't too much we can say, folks. There it is, right there in front of you. You're seeing it all. White flag comes out. One to go. One more trip around the 5 8 mile North Wilkesboro, North Carolina Oval. Will it be Terry Labonte or Jeff Gordon? In victory lane, they're down the backstretch, still nose to tail, but Terry holding off the challenge of the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion. Off of corner number four, and Terry Labonte wins the first Union 400 with Jeff Gordon second. Dale Earnhardt finishes third, followed by Robert Presley and Sterling Martin. And the Kellogg's Corn Flakes crew celebrates Terry's performance. And there is Ray Evernham, the crew chief, on Jeff Gordon's car. Jerry? Gary, congratulations. You rolled the dice there late, but it came up uh, came up a winner. I tell you, you know, Rusty was pretty strong, and we didn't know if we were going to get around him or not. Our tires were giving up about the same time his was. Unfortunately, he got in that wreck, but he was pretty good. And uh, everybody had to be at that last time, so uh, we come out on ahead on this deal. It's a good deal. What a day. You tie a legend's record, you win the pole, and you win the race. I'm telling you, that's something. I can't believe it. It's, I've always done a good fit pit stop today all day long and we just had a good day. Gary Dehart the winning crew chief for Hendrick wins in 1996 Bob. And it's Terry Labonte's 17th career win his fourth from the pole position 
second win from the pole at North Wilkesboro.